it's preparing. <laughs> <laughs> Poor mommy. Uh, wrong, wrong Morgan was live. Redirecting. She because she just hit live looking for live. There we go. We're live. We're live. So we want music. Your music. I got music. <laughs> oh, oh <wait>. Lordy. <laughs> But I'm seeing the delayed version. Uh oh, your inner are you playing? She's still live? <laughs> Nanny's, Nanny's still live. live. <laughs> None of us can figure out what we're doing. <laughs> oh gosh. You're not playing music, are you? I don't hear music. You don't hear music? No. <laughs> there was music playing. Okay, well. <laughs> the intro we have 185 like... people watching us be a fiasco. I, that's all I can, and I can't see comments. So the I don't even know is, what to tell you. The intro is just <laughs> us being very confused and Nanny is live on Facebook successfully. Okay, well, the music stopped because apparently nobody can hear it. I don't know. <laughs> This is not my show, it's Gwen's show. <laughs> Gwen's show is, is not going very well so far. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go over here. Okay. All right, Gwen, how's your show going? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm not the person that does Facebook Lives. Uh, all right, I'm gonna, I have to go on my phone to actually see what we're doing. People are saying that there's no music. Yes, there's no music. Okay, they can't hear the music, but can they hear us? Yes. Okay. They, they can hear us, but not. No us. music, but who cares? Okay. <laughs> yeah, how many of you got the notice that my mother is also live? She's trying to find us live, and so she hit the live button in the hospital. I'm not at the hospital, and so you can see live video of Nanny in bed at the hospital. <laughs> oh man okay all right you can see us if you can hear us that is awesome thank you for joining us late on a friday evening i uh hugh it's found gas friday. so i got it's not friday oh, Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> okay you yeah. found gas so i got to come home and have a martini and i just started this is not drunk talking this is i just got the martini. we're so tired <laughs> Everyone's tired. <sighs> okay. Uh, so Gwen, what are we doing? <laughs> okay. Well, I, we were, I think that we probably should give everyone a little bit of an update because we get lots of questions and concerns. And then we have some new products uh, to talk about briefly. So okay. give people just some updates about. All right. So I guess I will do the update on Nanny because I was at the hospital today and Gwen was not there today. Um, uh, so she went to the hospital last, we took her to the ER last Saturday, two Saturdays ago for vomiting and high fever, 105.6. Uh, the ER doc decided it was the stomach flu and sent her home because her lab work was good. Uh, debated on doing a CT scan and then decided not to. I don't know why. Uh, so Sunday, she was still very ill. Um, by Sunday night, she was vomiting blood. We went back to the emergency room, Hugh driving 100 miles an hour and me praying that mom would not die on the way there. Um, and uh, they admitted her, got a CT scan, discovered a small bowel obstruction, which apparently for, this is something we all need to know that if you have ever had any abdominal surgery, appendix, gallbladder, hysterectomy, C-section, anything, you have a 10% chance at some time in your life of developing adhesions where your intestines will stick in the scar tissue and not function. And so that's what she had. They put a tube up her nose down into her stomach. And uh, I, I am so thankful for all of you who have been following with us 
all of you who have offered up prayers. I finally just got to the point where each morning I would post what we were praying for each day. Um, and people <laughs> actually said they appreciated having some focus and direction for where they needed to send their prayers for the day. Um, but it worked and you guys are awesome. But uh, they pulled the tube on Wednesday. Huh? Wednesday, they pulled, pulled the tube last Wednesday. Uh, and by Thursday, things were not going well. So she went to surgery Thursday, late afternoon, uh, and finally just got the tube pulled again today because uh, it took that long for her bowels to work. Um, and she has developed pneumonia. Uh, her white cell count was 18,000 yesterday. It's 13,000 today. She's on Rocephin, an IV antibiotic. Her um, doctor team and nurse team is amazing, amazing. Uh, her biggest issue through this whole thing has been that because of all the vomiting at the beginning, she ulcerated and burned her esophagus. And then she's had this feeding tube laying on that ulcer uh, for over a week. And the pain scale uh, of zero to 10, she's at about a 2,700. Um, so, um, and oxycodone is the drug they were giving her and it's not really made for esophageal pain, but it at least took the edge off. So she's feeling better. Uh, we still have a long road. We've got to get her eating. She's on IV feeding. Um, they give, it's really, the IV feeding is really interesting. They had to put in a pick line. I'm learning a lot about human medicine more than I ever want to know, uh, cause I don't do that. Um, and so the pick line is a humongous catheter in her arm, way up high in her arm. And uh, so around the clock, she gets what they call the banana bag. It's yellow liquid, which is uh, 10 grams of dextrose and uh, a complete array of amino acids. So she's getting her carbohydrates and her proteins and her fluids and her electrolytes. Um, and there's 1,560 calories a day in that bag. And uh, then Monday, Wednesday, and Friday nights, she gets a smaller bag that is looks like a milkshake, which goes IV, and that's lipids, that's her fats. So uh, basically, they can make a chemical soup of everything that you need to survive. Um, and so now that she's off her nasal oxygen, she's off her feeding, her nasogastric tube, she says she can't wait for the feeding IV bag to leave. And I said, well, you got it eat 1,560 calories a day. So far today, you've had 10. <laughs> she had some chicken broth and two bites of Jello. So we got a long way to go to get to 1,560, but uh, that's the goal. Um, so uh, tomorrow, I'll let you know what we're praying for tomorrow, but I, I think it's just being able to eat and walk and cough um, so that we can get her chest cleared up. So that's the update on Nanny. Uh, you guys are wonderful. I really appreciate all of you. And uh, I'm really sorry that I have not been online, but my brain can't do both directions. And my brain has really needed to be a hundred percent on my mother and dealing with her doctors and her nurses and her care. So I, I appreciate your patience. Gwen, it's all you. <laughs> and Gwen has been amazing as she comes after a long day at the office with the baby. Uh, she's been coming to the hospital about seven o'clock at night so that I can come home. And she stays with mom until about 11. There were a few nights where I did spend the night when things were a little hairier. Um, but it's it. Gwen has really allowed me to be able to come home and sleep in my own bed and see my husband. And the dogs, because as you all saw, Stewie is very, very, very sad. Um, <laughs> but uh, so that has been amazing and helpful. And uh, I discovered something about my mother and my daughter. They like to watch really junk TV. <laughs> <laughs> Things that I don't watch. What, what, what's, what were you watching the other night that the nurse was all into? 90 Day Fiance. I saw a little bit of that. No, I saw... Um, the instant marriage one. I haven't seen that one. I don't have it's cable. It's a matchmaker thing where they basically matchmake them and then they marry them. Yeah, I don't have cable. So like going to the hospital <laughs> and watching junk TV with Nanny was, you know, almost a little, a little getaway for me. So there we go. Gwen was vacationing at the hospital. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep.
And my mom would say, you can go home. And Gwen's like, no, I can't. I told her, I said, you don't rush me, woman. I'm having a good time here. (laughs) There's a recliner and some cable TV and nanny. Are you kidding me? This is, this is great. Minus the hospital part, but you know, yeah, small speed bump. Yeah. When you see her tomorrow, she's a lot better without that too, bit. She's, she, I saw so, her. She was live before okay. us <laughs> when we couldn't, when we couldn't figure out how to be on Facebook live, Nanny was streaming Nanny was from on our Facebook. hospital bed. So, uh, uh, so those of you who've been following me for a while, uh, you might remember that I posted the faces of pain in cats. It's a blog. So you can go to the website and look it up, but how to tell if your cat has pain. Well, I also did one for dogs, but the cat one is really cool. And so when a cat is dehydrated or in pain, they get this furrowed brow where their eyes are slanted and they've got these wrinkles up here. And that, so all week I've been going, mom, you've got the cat face. (laughs) You've got the cat wrinkled brow. After they took the tube out, it took her about an hour to recover from that ordeal. But once she did, her face finally relaxed. And I went, oh my God, your cat face is so much better now. (laughs) So things we're learning. (laughs) Yes. Learning that I never want to have an NG tube. So Mm -hmm. put that on my list of life life goals. Life Um, goals, no tubes. So we did, in the process of all this, you... um, you did a few things that we didn't catch up on beforehand. So one of the things that um, is finally ready on our side is you put together a Cushing's disease guide. Um, It goes into some of the symptoms, a little bit about alternative treatments and testing. Um, So that will be finally ready to go tomorrow. Um, I think you created that probably weeks ago. I did. So the goal, I'm actually about halfway through writing a book on Cushing's causes, diagnosis, treatment, both uh, traditional and alternative. Um, It'll probably be about a hundred page book just on Cushing's. And um, so I took sort of excerpts and made this guide that we could at least get out there for people because uh, the book will be a while in the making because I'm trying to get the other book done first, which I, had five people edit it. I had gotten through three before I took off for the hospital. So I got to get through the other two. Uh, but we are close on that one. So within the next few months, we should have um, the pet owner's naturally healthy handbook. I don't know the name yet. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but anyway, so yes, the Cushing's uh, handout, it's going to be a free download, right, Gwen? Yep, it's just going to be a nice PDF because uh, it's really comprehensive. So <clears throat> put together a nice little printable version of your, your Cushing's Guide and it should be ready tomorrow. I so, read something um, yesterday that there's 100,000 dogs diagnosed a year with Cushing's. Wow. It's a lot. Yeah, you, you get a lot of questions about Cushing's. Um, so are you ready for the new stuff that we added I don't even know what new stuff we have. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> well, so you asked, it's not really the, so I'll start with maybe the more exciting one first. So um, you can see how well us trying to get on Facebook live together worked with me being so tired. Um, I accidentally ordered the slightly wrong thing. So. Um, oh, good. We have the wrong thing for sale. Yes. It's, well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's wrong, but it's right. So, you know, bear with okay. me. Um, so we had the Capelin from Icelandic Plus, the little fish, um, a while back and they had to stop producing them because the FDA, I think there was some size requirement. The FDA, the FDA said, said they couldn't be more than five inches long and some of theirs were like five and a half. Right. So there's something about the sizes. So they switched to herring, um, which is another small little fish. Um, it's a great source of omegas and taurine and all that jazz like Capelin. Um, and they come in the the cute little bags. Well, I went to order the cute little bags because uh, I clicked on the picture and I was not paying close attention. And I ended up ordering 12 ounces. Oh, we have big fish bags. So we have big small bags. fish. <laughs> <laughs> so these are now on the website. There's herring. I don't know how it's 12 ounces. So it's like, you know, almost a lot of fish. 
It doesn't say how many are in here, but there's a lot of little fish in there. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Edward. <laughs> Edward wants uh, fish. <laughs> they, they are Edward says, them. if you would open that bag, I would, I would taste test them right here and now. I didn't even plan this. Edward's just really cooperating. Well, just he, give him a fish. He's being a salesman. He's harassing me. Um, so yes, yeah, so these are, um, I think pretty much all the other Icelandic plus treats that we have are in like two to four ounce bags. <laughs> this is a 12 ounce bag. Um, so it is a lot of, a lot of fish. I meant to order the smaller ones. As soon as I can get the smaller ones, I will get them as well. So if no one wants 12 ounces of fish. Well, people with a lot of dogs or a lot of cats are going to be happy to have a bigger bag. Well, right. So like for our family, we have one big dog, one small dog, and two cats. So like this actually works very well for our pets. <laughs> See? Because the cats and the dogs will both eat them. So well, you know. we have four cats and three dogs. Yeah, four dogs and three cats. It'll work for us too. You see, yes. I so uh, these we have a bunch are, of animals these are really great and i noticed that um it's interesting because on uh icelandic pluses literature they talk a lot about the taurine and herring because mm -hmm. that whole big grain free debate about lack of taurine in diets um which is something that i didn't even think about how fish actually are, are a good source of taurine as well they are. and of course omegas so there's lots of taurine and omegas and 12 ounces of little tiny herring. <laughs> a lot of fish. <laughs> yes, um, but I'm excited to have these back in stock. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to try to get the smaller size as well. So hopefully. Yeah, you might find that the big size does well and we might need to keep both. Yes, we could always keep both. Um, but yes, this is what I have for now because uh, I wasn't paying super close attention when it I happens. was ordering. So that's on the website. Um, we just need a bigger warehouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if not, you know, my pets will really love having bunches of, of fish treats. Um, and then the other thing that you asked us to get quite a while ago, which we just now got in, um, were the vital essentials. So we got the um, rabbit patties for dogs and cats. Um, and we also have the duck patties for dogs and cats. And so the reason we got these is because very, very, I, I'm so far behind on consultations. We'll probably never catch up. Uh, so for those of you with animals with severe allergies, IBD, um, leaky gut, whatever, and you need to make a diet change. The reason I like Vital Essentials is it's a prey model diet. So the freeze dried is easy to ship, last forever, great expiration dates, easy to store, lightweight. Uh, but that rabbit product, it is rabbit, meat, bone, and organ. And it is a 100% complete diet. The duck is duck, meat, bone, and organ. 100% complete and balanced diet. So somebody sent me an email today and gave me the young dog with horrible... Uh, allergy IBD problems. The dog's only five months old. You don't have allergies and IBD at five months, but she gave me the list of the 17 different foods that they've tried for the dog. And they're doing what I call lateral moves. So they move from one high starch, wrong protein product to another high starch, wrong protein product. She's used a lot of chicken, a lot of beef. Those aren't going to work. So this is literally what I said in her email is buy some Vital Essentials Rabbit, give it a try for three to four weeks. Now, where this diet might fall short if you wanna use it as a trial is some dogs have a fiber responsive diarrhea. So you might have to add a fiber, but you could also use this as your protein and add it to um, the raw vibrance or the paradigm. So this could be your meat source. And if you need more fiber, you could put a scoop of raw vibrance or paradigm with it and then rehydrate the whole thing. You could also use psyllium powder uh, if you have a dog that has a fiber responsive problem. And on the animal biome, when we get that back a lot of times, it'll say what you need in the diet. And we've gotten quite a few back where the animals needed more fiber in their diet. So we just added psyllium or chia seeds, something like that. Uh, but 
this is a good starting place. So if you can't get a consultation, you've tried 27 different dry kibbles, home cooked meals, you're, you're still using starches, you're still using beef, you're still using chicken. This is a great place to start. I have cured, cured so many animals just by getting them on a really restricted diet. So this works really well. Thanks, Gwen. Yeah, so it's not, um, and these are the vital essentials you can usually get at like the more boutique pet stores and stuff. So it's not like we're the only source of it. It's more just like we get a lot of questions. My Good for convenience. If you're ordering yeah. other stuff, you can order that too. Yeah, it's the, it should be the same price as at other retailers. Um, yeah. So it's more just for the people that contact us and say I have dog with IBD, pancreatitis, allergies, whatever, what's something I can try short term. Um, so those are the new things that we added. Uh, there's probably more in the warehouse that I have not caught up on. So we will uh, keep you posted. Yeah, I don't think we've really done a good live on the UC2. No, we did not. We we did a just like a a little shout out about the UC2 and what it's used for. I may have some. So I do. Oh. Look at me having products good in my house. Oh, look at that. All right, so this is a UC2. Um, this, it stands for undenatured type collagen, 2 collagen, type 2 collagen. Uh, it's for joints and it's actually a human product, but it is uh, phenomenal um, for these arthritic dogs. So we're using this in addition to the deer antler velvet, which is, a, and green lip muscle that's in the senior formula or the wellness formula, which is, um, natural sources of glucosamine, conjoitin, and hyaluronic acid. And uh, this, you know, it's just, for those of you who have animals with pretty significant arthritis, I mean, we're, we're keeping these guys around for 15, 16, 17, 18 years. They've got pretty significant arthritis. By the way, you can take it yourself too. Um, uh, we're just, we're layering things on. So like for Shana, we're using the UC2, we're using the senior deer antler velvet, we're using the Iceland Pure Omega-3s. Um, uh, what we did discover, we ran out of the PEA because a couple of weeks back, um, we ran out in the warehouse and that happened to be the last time I was at the warehouse and I couldn't get any more. Uh, and Shana literally couldn't stand up. And uh, we finally figured out, Hugh finally said, hey, you know what, she's been off the P for about a week, I think that's where our problem is. And I discovered in our little human tray of supplements, we had some PEA. So we got Shana back on it and she's doing much better, but Gwen, I, I need a warehouse raid. <laughs> we, we can do that PEA, we got lots of PEA again. Oh, so Hugh just said she came up the three steps out front tonight. Oh, wow. I mean, she couldn't even walk across the floor without her PEA, with the PEA on board. She's up the steps. Yeah, I yeah. felt bad. Both both of our dogs are on PEA, and it was it was a manufacturing uh, shortage. So they literally no one could get it from uh, Vitalitis. So my dogs were off it too, and Panda was itching like crazy, and Mila was on it for her mast cell tumor. So I feel your pain. Yeah, poor Panda <laughs> was not happy not being off of the or being off of the the PEA. Well, it's back it's in back in stock, and I. I'm not a fan of hoarding. I did not go get any gas, but I did get quite a bit of PEA because I don't like- It's on the bill. People. We got a lot of PEA. Yeah. I don't like telling people that this great thing that's been working really well for them is unavailable. So learn that lesson the hard way. Well, I mean, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to have to write you a list and have you drop it off at the, but when we pass in the hallway at the hospital, I can have Gwen drop off a lot of stuff for my dog. I still haven't even given you your Mother's Day card, so you're going to have to really stay on top of me if you want a special delivery of stuff. You know what the funny thing is? <laughs> I, 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 I was kind of bummed that you left Nanny's Mother's Day card in your car. It never even dawned on me that it was Mother's Day for me too. <laughs> yeah, I let, I just dropped the complete Mother's Day ball, so. Brandon and Reed is going to have a redo of Mother's Day when everyone's like, okay, we're just going to redo it. I'm just so, I've been so worried about Nanny, I don't even care. It, well, I mean, me too, obviously. 
I so I have to, I have to tell another story about Nanny. So when you're laying in the hospital bed, they have these things that wrap around your legs and they pump up and they're compression socks, basically that wrap around your legs and they, they blow up and they, you know, so that you don't get blood clots and it squeezes the blood up your legs and blah, blah, blah. Well, within the, you know, the first day she was like, Oh, these are so wonderful. <laughs> and so for mother's day, nanny got compression. They're not even socks. <laughs> they go the sleeves. I don't know. They go on your feet, your, um, calves and your thigh, like they're full leg compression and heat things. The only problem is they're one size fits all. Nanny's four foot 10. She used to be four ten, but she has shrunk a few inches. She might be four nine. At might least be. four nine. Yeah. So I don't know what these compression things are going to do when we put them on Nanny's legs. <laughs> we'll see. She'll be along up, for the ride. They may, they may come up. She's a good her. sport though. We've learned. So, you know, poor Nanny. Oh, she's a very good sport. Everybody in the hospital, every time, every time somebody comes in, they go, you're 84. <laughs> Even our nurses tonight, they were doing the changeover and they're like, wait, you're 84. <laughs> I know. She's I handling know it better than I would. That's for sure. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, there were, there were, there were a few times there where she, when the doctor <laughs> came in today, before she got her tube out, the surgeon came in and he said, well, how are you doing? She said, I think I'm going to make it. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Poor nanny. It's been a rough two weeks. Really rough two weeks. Hey, we were watching Wheel of Fortune before the trash TV started. And she's still with it, man. She can, she can guess those clues like nobody's business. So she's pretty she's good. Still at that. in it. She's pretty good. So. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so this is, this is your first time being live in what, like two weeks or something, I think. So hopefully with nanny recovering and when she can come home and once she gets like home, that, I'll, I'll get back on, but we'll start to get on a normal rhythm. Brandon and I are on a little bit more of a, a normal rhythm now. So we'll at least be, um, we're hoping for daycare soon. <laughs> Are we? I, I don't know. I'm trying not to get my hopes up because it's uh, <laughs> coming soon. Coming soon. Well, so, yeah. I mean, you know, one of the worst things about Nanny getting sick is we lost the babysitter. Yeah. I, there are many, many very important key tasks that Nanny did for us. Yeah. She used to do all the cleaning in our house. And, and a lot of Hugh, animal care. Hugh finally broke, Hugh, Hugh finally, finally broke down and vacuumed. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. like I can't even take it anymore. <laughs> Nanny's like superwoman of I don't I don't like I think if I was in the hospital like my kid would notice but that would probably be about it. But with Nanny, it's like she does something for everyone, and so now we're all like, well, oh my, this is madness. Nanny's not here to take care of it. Yep. And so Gwen facetimes with baby Sarah, with Nanny and I in the hospital. So what does baby Sarah do when she sees Nanny's picture? Gwen? Oh, she smiles super big and then starts attacking the phone. She pokes her in the nose. Because yeah. <laughs> that's what she does in person. She wants she's to stick big her on nose in your nose. right now, yeah. <laughs> Although I will say, uh, I haven't told Nanny yet, but she, she has started saying, uh-oh, usually in context, like, it's not really the correct context. Like she will chuck something across the room and then be like, uh-oh. I'm like, that's <laughs> not really how uh-oh works, but you know, close enough. So she'll have to show Nanny that trick when Nanny's home from the hospital. Uh, what was so she e eating in the picture the other day? With Like veggie crisps oh. or something out of that container? Oh, puffs, puffs. Yeah. Veggie puffs? It's was she eating them? Yes, yeah. It's basically just like very expensive organic Cheerios. The Cheerios are honestly just, just as enthralling for her. So anyone who comes to our office, you have to uh, traipse through the obstacle course of Cheerios. Our office is like baby toys, a baby mat, Cheerios everywhere. And then the whole warehouse is, is organized. But the office yeah. space is just like 
basically half <laughs> it's baby. daycare, half office. Joey Kent, uh, who's one of our lovely employees and love him to death, uh, came to visit and brought his dog Queen. And Queen was really happy to kind of vacuum up some of the Cheerios <laughs> around the office. So if you have a dog who would like to vacuum Cheerios, we might need to hire you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, so we, there's a few things that you had, you were pushing out content faster than kind of Brandon and I can keep up with. So we at least have, um, we do have some things coming out. Like I said, the Cushing's Guide, I know is one. You also put together um, a list of superfoods that has not been um, formatted. Well, it's been formatted, but it hasn't been. Everybody here, Panda me. playing with a toy. Oh my gosh, you can still, yeah, she won't stop. Hi, Panda. Um, but anyway, so uh, there will be some new content flowing out uh, while you are finishing up in the hospital uh, because we have not caught up fully from when before you were in the hospital. So that's good because I'm going to be a while catching up. <laughs> that's okay. But anyway, that is that's our update. And meanwhile, poor Hugh, <laughs> he starts his. So I woke up this morning. He, I woke up this morning at five o'clock. I had four dogs and a cat in the bed and no husband. And I went, mm, maybe he's making coffee. Didn't hear coffee. So I got up, came to the kitchen. No Hugh. Went to Hugh's computer. No Hugh. Went to the living room. No Hugh in his chair. Our house is very small. Looked in my mother's bathroom. No Hugh. Looked in my mother's bedroom thinking, oh, that would be really weird. No hue. Looked on the back porch. No hue. Looked in the garage. No hue. Opened the garage door. No hue's truck. It's five in the morning and I'm having a panic attack. And I thought, well, if something happened to mom, surely he would have wakened me. So I started texting him. Where are you? Looking for gas. Five o'clock this morning, he woke up and he went to look for gas because North Carolina has none. <laughs> and uh, so I said, okay, well, you just scared me to death. Now, you know, thanks for starting my day that way. Uh, <laughs> and then he shows up back at home and he said, well, I went to three gas stations, no gas. And I decided that I was going to use up all the gas that I did have looking to find gas. <laughs> so... I was done panicking at that point. Then I get to the hospital and I go to check in because they have to screen you and take your temperature and do all that stuff. And I get up to the, the guy and I tell him who I'm there to visit. And he says, we don't have a Morgan in the computer. I don't think we have a Morgan in the hospital. I'm like, uh, been here for two weeks. And I'm pretty sure if she died, they would have texted me or called or something. So I'm pretty sure you've got one. He's like, ah, here's your badge going up. I got upstairs. I said, hey, mom, you don't exist anymore. She's like, okay. <laughs> that kind of day. Lost my husband, lost my mother. I don't know. <laughs> We're just, yeah, this is the joys of a family, small business. It's just a little bit of chaos, um, but we make it work. Uh, someone was asking about the chicken products. So I did actually attempt to order the chicken products, but I have not heard back from them. So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So Where's uh, our chicken I, stuff? I, I don't know. I couldn't get a hold of them um, the last few days. So I was just going to try to keep asking where our chicken stuff is. Yeah. I totally uh, forgot about that. that. Yeah. It's been two weeks. Yeah. So we, we should need have, our chicken stuff. We should have chicken products soon. Yeah, I, I, I see our, our website expanding, you know, chickens and horses and donkeys and have we tried the new food on the horses and donkeys yet? It hasn't come in yet. Um, okay. That hasn't come in yet either. Uh, and someone was asking, I guess they missed when we were talking about the Cushing's Guide. The Cushing Guide will come out tomorrow. It's just a free PDF printable download. Um, and when the, will I be taking consultations again? Um, <laughs> two years? I know. We are so far behind. 
you're really far behind. Yeah, uh, someone asked for a consultation with me, and I was instead, and I was like, I think you'll be highly disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody was so desperate. They were like, "Can I have a consultation with Gwen?" But I will say, Gwen called me and asked me. 20 questions. I gave her all the answers and I'm pretty sure she gave them all the answers and it actually ended up being I okay. did. Yeah. So I was, you know, I got, I got like 60% of the way there. You filled in the other 40% over the phone while you're sitting in the hospital. And, you know, we stitched together a, a mini consultation. There you go. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. It's just, um, I, I, and I apologize to those who had consultations scheduled this week and last week. I just, I cannot First of all, I don't have a computer at the hospital. I could take it, but it literally I have like 10 minute increments of, you know, doing this, doing this, doing that. And the nurses, I'm still trying to figure out what, if anybody has good ideas, uh, I'm trying to figure out what to get for the nurses. I looked at like cookies by design. They're like $20 a dozen, maybe 30. And there's a lot of nurses and we really want to get something for this team that has just been beyond amazing. The nurses and the nurses aides, they've just, they really have been beyond amazing, but there's a lot of them. And Nanny has been on, in three different rooms on that floor so far. And I, I hope we don't move again, but you never know. Um, uh, but I, I, I will say to anyone who has a loved one in the hospital, if you have someone in the family who can be with them uh, close to around the clock or you know, 15 hours a day, it makes all the difference in the world. Uh, I got to the point where I can hook and unhook suction, I can change IV things around, I can move IV poles, I can put her compression things on and take them off. I do her bathing. Um, it just takes so much pressure off them. They are so really literally overwhelmed. She's on a surgery floor. Uh, they're overwhelmed. And um, I, you know, when we were in the ER before I knew how to work anything and before we knew what was going on. I literally sat on that call bell all night. I ran in the hallway screaming and crying for help. Um, you need to be that advocate. You need to be that that pain in the butt. Um, your, your loved one needs you to be that pain in the butt. Uh, and then your loved one needs you to be that caretaker that the nurses can't be. Uh, what they really wanted over the last four or five days, well, a week now since surgery, was for my mother to be up and walking. And if she had to count on a nurse or a nurse's aide to get her up and get her walking, it literally would have been three minutes a day. They do not have time. I walked her up and down those hallways for hours and a nurse does not have the time to do that, does not have the time to give to that. You can't expect that of them. And if you want your loved one to get better, they've got to get up, they've got to get moving, they've got to get back to normal as fast as possible. And it's up to us to do that for them. Um, and it's hard because I, I think about uh, people who don't have family, don't have children, don't have someone who can do that for them. And unfortunately, if you're not related, sometimes it can be hard to get into the hospital and actually do that kind of help. Um, so there's a catch 22 kind of on both sides, but it really, I, I, we've seen many people lying in hospital beds with no family. Um, most of the people in the hospital are older um, and some of them don't have any family and they're very, disoriented and uh, it's hard. It's really hard. So, uh, you know, take care of your family members, take care of your friends. If you have a neighbor who uh, needs help, make friends and, and be helpful. It, it's uh, critically, critically important. Our me medical care system. And again, I'm going to give a shout out to Michelle Allen. Oh my, I don't know if she's on tonight. I haven't been paying attention, but Michelle Allen. Oh my God. She was nurse of the year for a reason.
She's retired from nursing for 20 years, but let me tell you, she diagnosed my mother 12 hours before a doctor did. She and and she did it by email or by text message. Um, she's amazing. She's talked me off 27 ledges this week, and uh, I I I love her and appreciate her so much. Her dogs are very lucky to have her. And that's Michelle Allen of Monkey's House, a dog Monkey's hospital house. sanctuary for. Yeah, Those and if you're if you don't follow Monkey's House, please follow Monkey's House. If you don't donate to Monkey's House, please donate to Monkey's House. Michelle deserves it just for this week. <laughs> she's she's pretty amazing. She's a, she's just an amazing person. All right, I think, I think that's it. All right, thanks, Gwen. Thanks for setting this up. Uh, we figured it out, and. Uh, um, <laughs> People watching the replay are gonna have to skip like 10 minutes of us. Yeah, skip the first 10 confused. minutes of what are we doing? <laughs> like we've never done this before, whatever. Eh, whatever. Okay, it's Friday night. Oh wait. It's Wednesday. <laughs> well, Hugh put the trash cans out yesterday, which was supposed to go out on Wednesday and all day he thought it was Wednesday. And then at the end of the day, he went, it's Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah. It's one of one of those weeks. It, yeah, that. <laughs> All right. We hope everyone has a fantastic evening. Thank you for jo joining our circle of <laughs> chaos. Um, but the warehouse is up and running. It actually has been running this whole time. Gwen and Brandon are amazing. <laughs> it's been running this whole time, but we're we're caught up and we're kind of getting back to almost almost normal. So. Um, I think that we will start to be able to release those things that we talked about at the end of this week. And hopefully Nanny will come home very, very soon and we can all live happily ever after and pretend like the last two weeks didn't happen. And she's going to make her soup forever. <laughs> hopefully not forever. Oh, I don't know. We might be on soup forever. I don't want this to ever happen again. <laughs> I don't think that's how this works. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Okay. We hope everyone has a great night and uh, we will keep you posted as, as we get more info on what our schedule might be. All Thank right. you Bye. very much. Bye.